Hey guys, it's Coach Dan. A lot of people are starting to get really curious about the big upcoming changes to the PMP exam in 2021, and they're gonna be massive, okay? Not only are we getting a tremendous amount of new content into the exam, but we're also going to have very new and challenging question types, all right? It won't just be multiple choice questions anymore. All right, so I just want to take some time today and do a quick review of all of the most important points about how the exam is changing uh, so that you can properly get prepared and know whether or not you want to take the test this year before the end of calendar year 2020 or if you're going to wait until the new exam on January 2nd, 2021, all right? All right, so let's take a look at this presentation that I put together for you here. All right, how is the PMP exam changing in 2021? All right, so let's do this. All right, as an introduction, I would just point out that PMI has announced that the exam is changing on January 2nd, 2021. All right, the current form of the exam is valid up until the end of this calendar year. Now, many people currently studying for the PMP exam are planning to try to take it as soon as possible because they're concerned that the changes will dramatically alter the nature of the exam and how people need to prepare for it. And they are correct with that assumption. My many PMP exam candidates are working towards taking it now so they can avoid all of that hassle. Okay, what are the basis for the exam changes? Well, every three to five years, the Project Management Institute does a, a, a sort of a role delineation study where they take a look and they see if the current form of the exam is still appropriate for your practitioners in the project environments today. And uh, PMI found that the PMI, uh, the PMP exam in the current form uh, did not discern accurately enough whether or not uh, somebody who passed the exam would actually be able to successfully complete a project. All right, what are the differences with the new PMP exam? Well, one major change is that we're going to have a large amount of agile project methods and tools and techniques, etc., added into the PMP exam. Um, we know that up until now, the exam's been primarily waterfall, old-fashioned, traditional project management. Agile really comes rushing in at this time. All right, and the new exam will change from having five knowledge areas to having only these three, people, processes, and business environment. So that is a radical framework update uh, as well. All right, the new exam contact will look dramatically different. And uh, instead of having initiate, plan, execute, control, and close, we're going to have three domains, people, processes, and business environment, each one consisting of a set of tasks, and those tasks having a number of the sub-enablers that roll up into them. All right, the new exam is based on this study. And the result of these studies have given us this knowledge and task driven guideline. All right, so let's take this even further here and talk about the exam domains which have been modified uh, to, other, to, to be more aligned with other PMI certifications. For example, let's talk about just the people domain. All right, the role of the project manager has transitioned from large and in charge to that of a servant leader. And we see a good percentage of the exam is now focused on the soft skills, not just for working with the core team, but also for working with all the stakeholders on the project. Okay, each domain has a set of tasks and these are the underlying responsibilities of the project manager for each domain. The tasks also include those sub-enablers I mentioned. So, Let's take a look here. Let's compare the old DCO versus the new. Right, this old one, initiate, plan, execute, control, and close, that has five domains, right? And we're familiar with that framework. 
but this new one only has three domains of people, process, and business environment. All right, so we can actually take a look right here. You'll see here is the new three domain layout. Right, and I'll just give you, uh, let's take a look at, how about we'll look at the process domain and we'll look at engaged stakeholders. So you see that the new ECI lasts, uh, lists the process, the task statement, and then there are four enablers that roll up into this task, and this task rolls up into this domain. All right, remember on the old exam, if we were gonna talk about managing stakeholder engagement, that would have been down here in the executing process group, all right, and then we would have been dealing with ITTOs, inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques. Well, this whole sort of thing, this whole sort of table here, pretty much just gets taken, gets squished and condensed and falls down into just this one process domain with everything from the people domain and the business environment being totally new to the new exam. All right, so those are the big framework updates. All right, but there's also going to be new question types. In addition to this new agile and hybrid content, the PMP candidates now also are gonna have dramatically different question types, item types. And uh, those could include such types as drag and drop, you know, like hotspots, fill in the blanks, multiple choice, one answer, multiple choice, multiple right answers, um, video or audio comprehension followed by scenario-based questions and others, right? So tons of new content and tons of new question types. That's sort of like a double whammy, right? So if you've got money invested in the current study materials, I suggest you work quickly to get it done as soon as possible. I recommend that you get your test done by November. All right, you don't wanna be scrambling around in December, uh, November and December. People are gonna be rushing the exam center and uh, it's gonna be mayhem, all right? So you either get it done by November or you start maybe preparing for the new exam in January. All right, so let's summarize the takeaways, all right? Number one. PMP exam is no longer primarily based on the PMBOK guide, all right? And the exam goes from nearly 100% waterfall to a 50-50 split with Agile, all right? The exam will not be only multiple choice questions anymore. It will also be many other item types. And uh, people taking the current exam should try to get it done as soon as possible, okay? All right, so analyze the new ECO, you know? It may be the best approach for you to just try to review and analyze that new ECO to see if you could get familiar with it and comfortable with taking it. All right, I'm launching a new interactive tool, okay, which is going to help you explore uh, the new layout, and I'm gonna create a totally free course, and I want you to have it, because it'll help you get ready, all right? so. Fill out the early interest form here down below, and you will be opted in as an early bird um, to get this free, exciting course on how to pass the new exam, all right? So thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, I appreciate you being with me, and I'll see you in class.